Hello everyone! So it's been so long since I've uploaded a video. Uh, honestly, it's just, I just kind of stopped. I am active, you know, a little bit on Instagram and on TikTok. I'll link the links below if you guys want to follow me there. I like to post little videos better than, you know, doing a full-on video, having to edit and everything. And uh, I don't know, it's like, it's something that you really have to do consistent, consistently. And I don't, I'm not going to say I don't have the time because I have all the time in the world right now. But um, it's just, I don't know. I'm not really motivated to like, you know, do it to regularly, I guess, if that's what you want to say it. Um, but I am really making it a goal for me to at least upload once a, a week. So like every Sunday after I do water changes. And I'm going to be taking like little clips here and there, you know, of uh, what I do throughout the week um, with the fish. So that way I can kind of make a big video, a long video out of it. Um, but yeah, so this video is just mainly, sorry, my camera is not focusing. It's focused right now, but then I, then I don't see it focused. Okay, so this video is mainly going to be just to catch you guys up. We are in my fish room right now, so if you guys hear water or like the little, it's my... to power my, my filters I forgot the name but yeah so we are in my fish room right now and I kind of want to show you guys I just finished doing water changes and cleaning their you know their fish tanks and everything but I have so many projects going on and at the same time it feels like I don't have any um but I just kind of wanted to like show you guys what I have going on and everything that I've done because I am so proud. This is nowhere near done by the way. Like I have so many other things that I want to do. Like I want to do it all. I'll show you once I go like along showing you. But um, yeah, let's just get started because I want to get right into it. I don't really have like an update or anything. That was just it. Like I didn't feel like filming. Um, it, it was just too much work for me, but I feel it wasn't really that. You know what? Those are just excuses. And I said I wasn't gonna put like I wasn't gonna make any more excuses. So yeah, like those are just I was just being lazy, I guess, or I didn't feel I didn't really have the passion for it. But I feel like I can do at least one video a week. Like that's not a lot. And because I feel like like I was telling you guys, I am active in Instagram and on TikTok. So that's really where I upload all my videos, but um, I don't feel like you guys can see what it takes to, you know, keep or maintain all of my fish tanks, all of my fish. Um, and like I said, I do have a lot of um, new projects coming up. Well, not new projects, more like I want to get this done because they need to. There's some fish that need to move tanks. Um, and yeah, so I just want you guys to come along. But I'll show you guys my fish room as how it is right now. All right, so right off the bat, when you walk in, um, this is what you see. So I have my, I wanna say this was a 15 gallon. I'm not sure, my stand. I do have another one that I need to set up because I have so many guppies in that little one that I'm gonna split them. Um, but yeah, so I need to set this one up, so stay tuned for that project. So as soon as you walk in, my husband, he did amazing. He did these things for me so I can hang all of my nets and all of my, um, you know, things for my fish. But I do need to put something there because sometimes like the water does strip. So I think I'm going to put like a little bucket there. That way I can just rinse it out, you know, whenever it's done dripping. Um, so yeah, right off the bat, I have my 15, I want to see it's a 15 gallon. I'm not sure. And I have a lot of guppies in there. Um, and then I love this project. This was super fun to make. Um, and I want to do this. Like I said, I, I'm not even done with my fish room. So my whole fish room, I want it to be like this, all right here and all right here. But, um, yeah, so this is my 55 gallon, I believe. I think it's a 55 and it's holding right now all of my my African cichlid um, fry. Look at them, they're so... That's how you know your fish aren't scared of you and you treat them well because they just come up to you, you know, and they think I'm gonna feed them, but 
I'm not. They already ate. Um, so this is, I believe they're my red shoulder uh, African peacock peacocks and my, I call them orange crisp because I mean they're orange but a lot of people say they're dragon bloods but I, I say that the dragon bloods are a little bit um, more pinkish, reddish. Um, but yeah, so they're here. These are up for sale um, and I kind of want to talk to you guys a little bit more um, right now once I get done with my tour um, then I have my um, 20 gallon long and this is where all of my male guppies are at so that's where all of my female and my fry are at well actually that's just where my fry and the mom is at this is where all the males are at yeah, let's see if I can get some You see them all right there. All right there. Um, and by the way, I do have um, two Corydoras in here. I have a Julie or Julie Corydora, and then I have my Panda Corydora right there. And of course, not gonna focus, but you can kind of see him or her. Um, I don't know where that Julie corridor There he is. So I have two panda. Um, I don't know what it is, you guys. I cannot keep pandas. Either that or Petco's panda, I mean, Corridoras. Uh, Petco's Corridor, PetSmart, sorry. PetSmart's Corridoras, they're just not, I don't know, but they keep on dying on me. And the temperature, it's at 79 right now, but it's because I did a water change. But it's usually around 76, 78. Um, and my Panda Corridora, the one in the back, that one, she's been, or he's been with me for a while. So, I don't know if the other ones were just, you know, like, stressed or something, I'm not sure. But these two have been doing okay lately. And yeah, this is where I have, like, my, my male guppies. Okay. I can see them more. Okay, and then this right here. There we go. This right here is my 40 breeder, and I only had females, but then um, Big uh, Big Kong right there. I don't know if you can see him. He's a uh, OB peacock. Him, this Mister right here. He was getting bullied in my uh, 72 gallon. Um, I have my males over there. He was getting bullied by the boss in the tank in my 72. But now I'm, you know, like. I had him here before and he wasn't like, you know, breeding with anyone. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. You know, like he doesn't really care for that. But now he, he's he gotten this female right here pregnant. I don't know if you can see her right there. She's holding. So I am gonna have to pull him out and I'm probably, I'm gonna put him back in my 72. But what I'm gonna do is I am going to um, put some PVC pipes like in the back of the tank that way he can go hide in there because I the first time I put him in there they bit they bit off his whole tail I don't know if I can if I can find some pictures but if I do I'll insert them just so you guys can see what I'm talking about and then the second time that I that I put him in there I tried again um, they were just fighting, fighting constantly, constantly. It was to the point where like, um, they, their face looked all beat up, you know, and I was like... Yeah, so it was to the point that they were just fighting all the time. Their face were like, was like all beat up, his and the other ones. And I was like, dude, I don't know what to do because, um, you know, I want to make sure that, I don't know, they can get an infection and everything, you know, so I, I moved him again. And as you can see, he's back here again, Big Kong, right there. He's a beautiful fish, don't get me wrong, but he was just getting beat up left and right. And he was also like, you know, doing some damage, but to my other one. But now he is, you know, bullying these ladies right here, and now they're just all the way at the top, and you can see him over there just because he's making, um, you know, little sand pits so he can breed with them. 
Um, but yeah, so this is what I, I have my girls in here and I, I am gonna remove Kong probably within the next week. As you can see, he's like bullying them over here and he's just over there. Um, but yeah, and then over here, I am super excited for this one. This one looks like I have nothing in there, right? <laughs> I need to get like something in there but I actually have they're just super skittish um, I don't know they just don't they're not warming up to me yet um, but I actually actually have five sulfur head um, peacocks there they are. yes so there's five of them and I got these from uh, Imperial Tropicals. I want to say it right because last time I said Imperial Tropics in my TikTok. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, I got five of them. And I'm hoping I get at least four males in here because those fish are so gorgeous. And I'm hoping, you know, that they show their colors pretty soon. They do have yellow at the bottom like of their fins. I don't know if you guys can see right there. Um, and some of them like shine really like dark like that one right there in the back. He's shining dark right now um, But yeah, so I'm hoping I at least got two to three males in there um, And then the females, you know whenever they get big enough I can just move them to my female tank Yeah, so that I need to so that's another project that I need to do also This is a 29 gallon and they are not gonna stay here for long once they outgrow it, they'll be moving. That's why I don't want to do so much or too much to it. Um, but I do want to put some caves or something. That way they feel more comfortable to like swim around. Because right now, they just stay hidden down there. In my um, sponge filter. Also, I am going to add another sponge filter. That way they have a little bit more um, filtration. But as of now, I... I ran out of sponge filter, so I'm waiting for the other one to come in. And on this 29 gallon, I have two tetras and sake, which is my second fish that I, well, my first fish that I've made. He's a fancy goldfish. And I also have my my big female um, guppies. But once I build the other fish tank, I am gonna remove the, the female guppies, and it's only gonna be the two tetras and oh and I have a pleco I forgot about the pleco he's right there I forgot about him because he is never out he's always hidden like he always hides rubber nose I believe he's a rubber nose pleco um but yeah so I am gonna remove um the two tetras are gonna go upstairs to my 10 gallon and the female guppies are gonna go to my 15 gallon so Sucky is gonna be by himself on this one um because Right now the temperature is not like, it's not like for him. So once I fix that, then he can be happy on his own um, and not have to worry about all these other fish. Okay, but yeah, that is my fish room right now. I also forgot to show you guys my, uh, I believe it's a five gallon and I have my um, shrimp colony in there. But yeah, so I have that down there and then I also have my 72 gallon, which is a upstairs and I have my 10 gallon which all I have in there are two shrimp two um, cherry shrimp and I have my pink snail colony which I don't know what it is I the most the success that I have with fish is mainly cichlids um, I don't know if it's the water is still probably too harsh for them but um, I cannot keep um, snails or shrimp to like overpopulate and I know shrimp you have to really make sure like their water quality is like on point but I mean I change the water twice a week so Wednesdays and Sundays and I do it for all my tanks because I just feel like bad if I'm just changing my African cichlids and I don't change my other ones the only ones that I do not touch twice a week that I only do once a week is my the ones that have like more plants so my 20 gallon long that one I only touch it once a week and where sucky is I only do one um, so when I do water changes on Sundays I do two two big buckets so I remove two buckets of water but on Wednesdays I only remove one bucket instead of two that's it 
Oh, and then they got the one. I only change it once as well because it has a lot of plans and it's been established. Well, all of my tanks really have been established. I just feel like African cichlids demand a little bit more. Um, I like my African cichlids to be, you know, in the best environment as possible because I am selling the fries. So I need to make sure that my fry is healthy. I need to make sure that my fry, you know, doesn't have any, you know, anything. You know, like it's just I just want to make sure that they're happy. They're happy and healthy. That's it. Um, and but yeah, so I am selling my fry, and the main reason I'm selling it is because I need to get money to be able to support my hobby, I guess. Um, but yeah, because um, it is expensive. I feel like one of the things that nobody talks about is that this hobby is really expensive. So yeah, I do try to um, I do try to get some money out of it. So I am selling my fry on eBay only. Maybe later on, you know, I'll try to like open up my storefront, Shopify, sorry, Shopify, you know, or something. But right now, as of now, I've been doing okay just selling them on eBay. Um, and I don't think I sell them for really like expensive if you go to a fish store you'll get you'll, you'll end up getting them for like 19.99 you know and then like they're still kind of juveniles they're not even that big um so yeah go check out my um my ebay i'll put it down below and yeah so thank you so much for watching this video i know i've been in my for so long but i'm not even gonna say i'm gonna I'm not even gonna say you know I'm gonna be uploading once a week, but I'm gonna try my hardest to upload it. Okay, so yeah, I'm not even gonna promise you guys that I'm gonna be uploading once a week, but I'm gonna try my hardest to upload once a week. So every Sunday, once I do my water changes, I'll kind of like I said, I will be recording throughout the week, but every Sunday, um, I'll post my video. Um, You know what let's go with Monday every Monday because Sunday I am gonna be done I am gonna be editing after I'm done and then I'll post them on Monday so every Monday stay tuned for a new video and also let me know what you want to see because I, I mean at this point I'm only gonna be recording like my projects that I have going on but if there's a certain fish that you want me to get or a certain fish that um, you want me to uh, much I was gonna say breed but I don't know I don't I honestly don't know if I'm gonna continue breeding because um, that's why I separated my siblings um, because there's too many of them and I personally feel so bad killing them um, you know there's people that I'm gonna sorry right here um, and I personally don't want to do that um, I haven't so far like I haven't the runs that I get that I feel like oh these are not worth me like selling and stuff I keep for myself and they end up with the females or with the males you know um, because I just feel like they can feel too you know and it's just kind of like just killing them off I don't know but anyways so that's another topic <laughs> um, but yeah so stay tuned like I said um, I'm gonna be also count how many times I say um I need to get rid of that habit, but it's so hard. I don't know why. I was, I was about to say it right now, but yeah. So stay tuned and thank you for watching. Let me know what you want to see. That way I can start, you know, either ordering fish or, you know, uh, changing tanks here and there. But I do want to start getting new fish, um, different ones, not just, I only have peacocks and I want to get I don't really want to get a bonus. I don't know why. I just feel like I'm betraying my peacocks. So, but I will get another cichlid, another cichlid type, you know? Um, what else? I definitely want to make, I have a, I'm restoring a 75 gallon, and I want to make that Sucky's tank. I, for now, he's going to be in the 29, you know, and I'm, I'm still going to remove the Tetras and the Guppies, and he'll be happy in the 29, but, I do want to put him in a 75 gallon and I want to get other like maybe two or three more goldfish different different type because he's a fancy goldfish but I want to get a different type of goldfish so yeah stay tuned for that as well and thank you so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe so I can keep going because also it just makes me feel bad if you don't like and subscribe and I'm like why am I even doing this kind of thing you know but yeah let's do this let's
get us to at least, I think I only have like 20 subscribers. Let, let's just get me to 100 and I'll be super happy, okay? So like and subscribe and let me know what you want to see and I'll see you guys.